Hello everyone and welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Lon McCarron alongside Bill Galfon. Welcome to Studio 52, the Las Vegas home of Poker Night in America. This is not your regular home game. You'll see some features of this amazing 10,000 square foot mansion throughout our broadcast. Let's take a look at this evening's starting lineup and stacks. In seat one, Danny Diner Panagatos is joining us again, bringing the profit from his last session here. In the two seat, MJ Gonzalez, keeping his Studio 52 streak alive, now joining us for a fifth consecutive evening. In the three seat, Jared Jaffe, no stranger to poker night either. This will be his fourth season making an appearance on our table. And like MJ, he's never booked a loss playing on our show. To Jared's left, Mitchell Bank is taking the four seat. Mitchell had a successful career as a sitcom writer and producer. You may have heard of a little show called Charles in Charge. In the five hole, it's Christian Soto, a poker player and commentator for the popular Hustler live stream. Rounding out the bunch is Adam Hendricks, joining us once again after topping the leaderboard when we saw him last. Four strong full-time players with a couple of recreational guys out there. Buy-ins range from 5K to 20K. Let's go. And Jack of Flex. Somebody's got definitely. Christian Soto, strong player, very aggressive from New Jersey. There's a, there's a penalty, right? I'm going to use every pick. If someone else calls you it, then they owe. And C1, Danny Panagatos. Danny from Long Island and some restaurants out there. Also was the executive producer of the film Once Upon a Time in Brooklyn. How about that? What's your favorite burger? The Einstein burger. The Einstein burger? Yeah, it's like with short, rib short ribs and cheese. Christian going to get in here with 6-4 suited on the button. Just go all in. Danny Diner owns a chain called Burgerology with Kings. Oh my God! Get that money. He didn't even flinch. I just wanted to see uh, uh -huh, where you're at. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had the nine of diamonds. Huh? Christian got a piece. Here, here, here. Wait, he you, called. You, he called something. Right? Yeah, you get paid. Thank you. Wow, I love this guy. This is. It's a good game. Take it easy. A big bet, don't get paid. Six. Six is good. Six is good. <laughs> it's nice when you can and negotiate a six hundred dollar C bet. <laughs> What the f <laughs> You hear this guy? Christian Soto wants to see if his hand is good here. He doesn't want to give a free card to a hand like Ace, King wow, Ace you Queen. Have jacks, huh? Get him, Danny nice Smiles. Jacks. Get him, Danny Smiles. Oh, what jacks. if he had Jacks? It is Jack of Clubs. That's not my card. That's me. Thanks. I hate it when I put him on a hand and then the hand hits. Yeah. So we're going to be doing this almost every So Christian game. raises the flop in hopes jacks, right? of buying a cheap river. Go I ahead. had courage. Danny goes ahead and bets out into him, and courage. Christian's going to be forced to fold his hand. Great cards, great hey, smile. Pay him. I do. Uh, I'm already... Dispersed evenly. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. I already started mine. But you're going to win like 52,000 in props. <laughs> There's a reason why I invited you. I just wanted to, you know. No, it's fine. Get I you some money. It. I need it. Talked about Danny being a producer. Well, with Pocket Tens, Mitchell Bank right. also easy, used to work for Norman listening. Lear, the great sitcom TV producer. $250. It's a lot of dollars. No, it's not. Because I got this guy. Pocket Tens, plenty of hand. And Ace Jack offsuit wow. and plenty of stack. Just goes into the mill for MJ. The fat thing or whatever that game is with the. I don't think MJ believes this is a winning play. Uh, 20,000. Uh, but he could. I'm gonna, oh, wait, did yeah. he uh, decide what he's doing yet? No, I haven't. Okay. You're not a nice man. Sure. I'm very nice, and I'm nice enough to where I'll show you. No, oh, good. That's a seven deuce I've ever heard. No, oh, it's ten not deuce. ten deuce, and it's ten not seven deuce. deuce. Promise. Yeah, Mitchell bought in for the least 5K. And give you another 200. And he gets it through pocket tens. You have ace nine? No. Ace ten. Suited. Suited ace. Oh, ace eight suited. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Uh, flip it for the table. I'm not out of the I would show him. It's what painful. It's, it's very painful. painful. It's, it's very painful. We're all entitled to this. MJ gets it done once again. He said yesterday. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. MJ, when you showed him, I'm like, oh, this is going to be painful. Like, I was like, because <laughs> you know I saw. You know Jack is coming I every time. I sweated his head, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be painful. It's not good. 
All right. Don't expect me to do Christian that. Christian Soto has an interesting nickname. But they call him Chin <laughs> because his name's Christian, but all his friends called him Christopher. He got mad about that, and so they just shortened Christian to Chin. So if you hear him called Chin, that's why. <laughs> we saw that. You guys have some good hands to start, right? You're playing a rush. You're playing a rush. Bold. Soto, after raising preflop with Jack Deuce suited, which I do not oh. recommend, checks his second pair <laughs> and gets out of the way after a bet and a call. I just, I couldn't, I wow. Couldn't I Mitchell got Jack there. I, like, I got to go all in. got to go all in. I got to do it. What choice did you have? <laughs> I was hoping he snapped. See how he navigates after having and then he, and then turned his flush. No, this is going to hurt. <laughs> I wasn't pleased with you. He's going to go ahead and bet. It's a small bet. <laughs> Tough for King Queen to fold just 400, no pot of this size. If because I didn't get a snap fold, I was like, oh, there's like 50 50. I'm getting the call here. Mitchell Bank, good with this flush. How much does he want? 700, another modest bet. You'll see this sometimes, people make a big hand and they want to make sure their opponent doesn't fold, so they don't get greedy, they go for some small bets. King-Queen offsuit, you gotta feel okay about your hand, facing just 700. Huh. Doesn't seem like Danny does. What a you fold. Got you got, Playing the player, guess he knows Mitchell's tendencies. Now you have to watch so you can coach later. This is, this is the training part of the process. Ace deuce or deuces, which one? Neither. Neither? Neither. Oh my god. I'm f I can't win in this game. What am I doing? It felt like nines. Good read. <laughs> Adam Hendricks, strong pro. Five million in live earnings. But it did feel like nines. It felt like nines. Hold it to MJ. He's going to raise it up on the button with 6 5 offsuit. Jared Jaffe, another strong pro. Three World Series rings. Jaffe was trained as a lawyer. He went to work in a law firm for two and a half days and played poker. Best looking guy in this pot. <laughs> two and a half days up. is longer than I would have given it. <laughs> MJ flops the open ender. Jaffe with top pair. Not going anywhere just yet. MJ always has something. Still a chance. Seems that way, doesn't it? And when he doesn't have something, he makes it seem like he has something. You're the second best. Damn it. Jaffe improves. He's the best here. Top two pair now. MJ doesn't have a diamond and decides to check it back and, and hope to hit it straight, which he does. <laughs> he always has something. Queens up equals two coasters right now. You got to think you're good with Queens up here. He thinks he's good. Straight. Until now. Listen. Thank you. Yeah, Can't I know. I know. <laughs> MJ always knows. Wow. You think I was scared of a flush? No. Never. More from Poker Night and America's Studio 52 when we return. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Welcome back to Studio 52 and Poker Night in America, our new Las Vegas residency. Early results are in at Studio 52. MJ up just over 1,000. Christian down over 1,100. Not a lot of blood yet. You don't need to shower? I'm Mexican-Italian. I need to f***ing shower. Oh, okay. Yet the operative word. But Indeed. I did smell okay. That's why this table is red. I asked the old Asian woman next to me if I smelled Soto okay. with aces. I gave you a good, good. sniff. She did. Uh oh. He's putting him on a very wide isolating range here. Christian actually has it. Has ace ace. Christian, of course, recognizes. And he looks like he was opening wide. He recognizes that MJ is going to three bet wide. And so MJ. 
Can't give him too much credit just yet. Going to be a little suspicious, but. Kiss him goodbye. I think I'm dealing with Nit Chen right now, not Action Chen. Nit Chen just calls. MJ has usually sniffed out what's going on. We'll see if he can here. It's a difficult spot to. Not to mention that he has Ace King. Both of these guys capable of getting out of line. Neither are. I think he must have. Aces versus Ace King, top, top for MJ, but 5%. It's going to be pain. MJ was not loving his hand preflop, despite it being an okay spot for Ace King. This is about as good of a flop as he could hope for. Not raising yet, just putting in the call. This pot has grown to 12,000. 4,000. 4,000. Christian Soto not going for all of it. Just betting 4,000. Leaving enough to shove the river. MJ obliges. Check. Check. Not good enough. Soto decides to check back on the queen, expecting some king queens and queen queens in MJ's range. Uh, go with the read, MJ. I think he would have shoved on a seven, a 10. Aces doing what aces are supposed to do. Is it always six-handed? Yeah. You like that or not? Yeah. Uh, more, I guess more, I, more action. I could just count this. Yeah. You don't get to play it too much. And Ace King makes his way around the table to Adam Hendricks. I trust Ace King oh. with Adam Hendricks. I do too. Mitchell tens again and a three bet. Oh. Mitchell here started with a $6,000 stack. Hendricks wants to go for all of it. Suited ace into the muck. Not much MJ can do there. You made a seven. Yeah, but that's only seven. Mitchell folded tens earlier. Saw that he was up against ace jack and flipping. We can see he's flipping once again, actually a little bit better due to dead cards. Okay. Okay, what? I'm all in. Okay. Ace King trying to win again. As many times it takes for me to hit a set. <laughs> you have a pair? Yeah. That's good. Do you, do you want to run out? Uh, up it's up to you. Guys, just choose a number. Twice is fine. All right, go on twice. Twice it is. Couldn't, I couldn't fold tens twice in a game. That is a rule. Mitchell ahead with the tens. Still ahead. Still ahead. Not ahead. Okay. Chips, please. <laughs> Preemptively requesting chips. That's me. That flop looks like the last flop. It does. Turn looks like the last turn. Ah, but the tens hold up this time. Chopper up. Plus five. Yeah, because out there now. Who do I owe? <laughs> All right, so you didn't make anything on the pot, but you made this a high tag. <laughs> yeah, At least I got up. When the lift bar was something else. Back in the 30s Listen, when he was running hey, around. Hey, 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 hey. I'm 27. I've just lived a hard life. <laughs> we all have, Mitchell. I had the grade for drop top. Yeah. Uh, MJ yeah. with the 10 deuce and a raise. 10 deuce bounty on. Uh, I could only call MJ Gonzalez. MJ is not one to pass that up. Pocket sixes for the Alaskan. Their best right now. Check. Three. 300. 
into the muck. Oh. MJ check calling out of position with 10 deuce. I don't love the spot for it. Yeah. You look like you've got a made hand, but. But you're up against a non professional who might not put you on that made hand. Mitchell is best with ace high here. MJ could have a missed draw. He could have a counterfeited seven. Or he could just have a full house. His instincts seem right. No, sit this down is and he's going to show the great. table to 10 dudes. Now we got to pay him for that. Too. We got to pay two people. So hold, you get paid, paid first. Paid. Is it you? MJ, okay. trying to get healthy. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back with more Poker Night in America from Studio 52. Welcome back to Poker Night in America and Studio 52. Lon McCarran here along with Phil Galfon. Christian killing it so far here. No surprise at Studio 52. He's a good player. MJ down about 12K. Where? Bomb pot. Long Island. Where? Uh, East Meadows. That's such a New York way to say it. Where? 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 Bomb pot. Everybody throws in $100 and they head straight to the flop. Check. And these spots are difficult to navigate. Adam leads with a pair of queens. Not yet. Now you can go. Soto with the sevens, bets 125. Now you're right about navigating everything. You just have no idea. Christian Soto plays a lot of live cash games. He's going to be well versed in navigating bomb pots. It's kind of a hold'em roulette. Yeah, it is, isn't it? This isn't like real no limit. You don't really. Trips now. For Adam, seven on the end. Soto steals it. The seven's full. He goes from thinking he's got nearly no chance to win when his small bet gets called by the player directly to his left with all the other players act behind him. Now he's wondering if he can raise. Decides that he does. Yeah, he could have anything, and he does. Not just anything, but a nice run out for a bomb pot. Anybody want to go ahead and run this out with me for this stock? I don't hear anybody talking. Okay. MJ looking to gamble. Would have been a good opportunity to just run it out without looking at their cards. Right. I think MJ can sense it. We'll play Count the Lambos in the parking lot, and then we'll figure out. <laughs> Damn, it's like that. Mm. Danny likes fast cars. You have one? No. No. That was the point. I took an over. He, fl <laughs> he flies here. He doesn't drive a Lambo. Oh, that's it. That's he better. choppers in. Queen's still best. Middle pair for Mitchell. A little backdoor straight draw and backdoor flush draw to go along with it. I expect he'll want to see the turn, as would I. Reasonable, sir. Fast cars don't have a backdoor, though. I said it was reasonable. Yeah. Open ended now for Mitchell. Eighteen fifty. Andre doesn't seem worried about it. Firing out a big bet. Oops. Mitchell's got to be thinking about it's time again. his stack going all right. in. I'll end it. All right. How many times? And he just puts one it all in himself. Good luck to Mitchell. One pair is good right now. Aaron, you good? Good luck to Mitchell. Nope, not going to do it. Yeah. Boy, I had a lot of outs there. Pass the stack. He's not supposed to have a hand, like ever. Right? My part is true. Yeah. Join the club saying that. I'm a shy person. I know it doesn't feel, it doesn't seem like it, but I'm shy. Introverted. I'm self-conscious and I'm shy. Well, we know that. I'm insecure. Yeah, well, we, we got that too. Ten deuce now for Hendrix. Let's see if he can win the bounty. MJ not going to make it easy on him with ace queen. 350. A 
love the dynamic of the 10 deuce. Well, I don't know if this full says more about me or about you, but it says something. Probably about me. Andrea's instincts. Now I want to go all in. Going back and forth. Now I really want to go all in. Like, how sick would that be? Like, I got to fold and then you're just all in then? Can you tell me exactly what you have, please? I can't see that far. I'm blinded when I can. It's like 11. It's 11? My gut says go all in. But this is the weirdest played hand of all time because I was going to fold and then now I might go all in. Yeah, once you announce that you were going to fold, it's tough to call. Okay, if my gut is wrong one more time, I'm, I'm probably going to hang myself. Oh. Go get it. the rope. This is it. Oh, MJ got Lord. MJ'd. Oh. Lock the doors. Thanks, Adam. Adam. We are going to take a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back with more Poker Night in America and Studio 52. Back in Las Vegas in Studio 52, Poker Night in America. Christian not discriminating, taking from everyone. Not so much the other five. You ever have a screwball? No. It's like a peanut butter whiskey. I heard of it, but it's I know. Pretty good, it. cold. Seven twenty-five. Grace from Jaffe. Wow, fireball on the rocks. That's. that's it. Danny, ten deuce. We raise two thousand. We've got action. MJ wakes up to Ace King offsuit after this preflop action. The drink for a long time. What? What the? He believes these two players who haven't gotten too out of line. This time he's big raise I've made all day. He's up against I haven't been the lightish ace nine suited three bet and the very light ten deuce four bet. All right, boys. Oh, no. All right, boys. Uh, <laughs> MJ's kicking himself. <laughs> I was going all the way with it. Okay. Don't leave him hanging. Two, two, Got a two, smile that lights up two, the studio. Man. For like 12 years. That's why I went to law school. But I'm from Staten Island. Big by name. Thank you. You couldn't even give me a wink or nothing? Like a little wink? Like, what's up? Jack suited. Beautiful hand. Jaffe will open it. Works so many ways. Jack's not, not so bad, much. Right? One thousand. They look nice, but they got a history, right? Pocket they do. Jacks. They do. I'd rather have the queen jack suited. <laughs> Did I ever tell you I love you, Bill? <laughs> I love you too long. Stage left. Yep. Two players. I think it's. How good your hand? Twenty-four seventy-five in the pot. He's figured out how to play jacks. He hit a set when the other player has a jack. This is exactly how you play jacks for everybody at home. Jaffe not going anywhere. Call eight. Easy call. Diamonds come in on the turn. Danny slowing down. Jaffe thinks his hand is best. He'd like to get a little value, a little bit of protection. And he's not thinking about folding here, I believe. But should he raise, protect against the king queen offsuit with a diamond? Somehow, pocket jacks always find a way to present trouble. But they do. He goes for just the call. As we can see, he has 100% equity, and he's not going to get bluffed off of his hand. Too much showdown value here, I believe, for Jared Jaffe. Check. Check. He checks it back. Check, and check, yep. Sees the bad news. You're playing really good. Danny, raking chips. Yeah. You're okay. going to enjoy 1500 Would you like to do a PLO flip with just me only? No. 
You sure? Yeah. I, I, I suggest you take it. You suggest they take wow. it? Wow. Okay. Are you sure? Sorry. Uh, let, let's talk about it for a second. No, but it's, really, it's yes or no for you. What, for this next hand, maybe? Yes. You don't have to if you don't want to? PLO flip. Sure. He's a very you can good say flipper. no. You can say no. You're an excellent PLO player. I am a very good PLO player. He's one yeah. of the best. I've played twice. Okay, so, so no? Think that's a, I think that's <laughs> probably a bad bet for me. Okay, so no then, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure with $1,500 stack, I MJ. I was your four cards against my three cards. Well, you didn't say that. Trying to give him a chance to double play. up. Yeah, what are you doing? Is 875. Instead, they've got two real hold'em hands here. Now look what happened. See what you started? This is it. How much? Fourteen fifty. I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you one of these when you double up. Mitchell has stack number two in the middle. Are you going over the top? Well, you're not allowed. I need a fireball. Can't fault him for this one. King Jack suited a very nice hand. MJ usually is getting out of line here on the button this time. He has ace king. Yeah, you gotta fold one. <laughs> Good luck, Owen. Did we run it eight times? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to run it out some, somewhere between one and eight times. Oh, seven right off the window, right in the window. Mm. Can I borrow oh, money? You hit I the king. Oh, no, man, you would dominate. Uh, I want a bit more right now. Oh, no way. He's got ace king. Really oh, not going to get it done. You really have ace king? Oh, Oh, wow. All right, boys. Oh, nice playing with you. Mitchell Bank will take his leave. Nice meeting you all. Take care. Thank you for joining us in Studio 52. Our sitcom producer, Mitchell Bank, has written himself off tonight's episode. I'm sure we can find an understudy to fill that seat. Welcome back to Studio 52 on Poker Night in America. I'm Lon McCarran alongside Phil Galfon. It looks like five-handed play will continue for a little bit as we await our next player. Christian still the only one in the green. Is Mitchell gone. Five players at the moment. I like, I like, you have a ten. <laughs> he turns over the nuts. Uh, no, I didn't have the nuts. It was a straight flush out there. Everybody's like, "Who's that guy sitting <laughs> down?" <laughs> <laughs> TV people have no money. You don't want them in your game. Jaron Jaffe, King Seven suited out of the small blind. You could limp, you could raise. He goes for the raise. How do you know he didn't mean thousand? He could have meant thousand. And Christian Soto. Could have. It's a very nice hand in the big blind. I wish he meant thousand. Gonna build the pot a little more. Okay. Mm. Both catch their best card. Jared is best. 450. 450. Christian firing the C bat. If he doesn't improve, I would expect him to slow down after this. Try to take his jack to showdown. Jack of spades. Yep. So you got info. Oh, king of spades. <laughs> 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 Both of this. Ay, ay, ay. Now says ay, ay, ay. Does try to see that showdown. All right, take it from my stack. Jaffe with top pair, probably not going to let him for free. Uh, we lost the player, so we get less, less money. Though. Spades miss. And then we both Gut shots play. miss. Open enders miss. Lots of bluffs that he could have here, and so Christian has a tough decision with his pretty strong bluff catcher. Soto, maybe drinking the peanut butter whiskey. Puts in the call, can't blame him. And a nice hand, Jared Jaffe. Should have folded. Danny hanging with these top players. MJ's got the button. 125. This is the greatest bluff in my life. <laughs> 600. Soto with the best hand. You're not bash. supposed to call the three bet here with Jack <laughs> seven offsuit, like, uh, but a little swag with it. He doesn't solver. care what his solver tells him. Five hundred and fifty. Soto misses. Does he want to fire out a C bet? Keep the pot a little bit smaller. This is your first time playing cash out. 
I, I play this Friday, but it pretty much, yeah. Andre has a pretty classic betting hand, but opts to be tricky and check it back. Not very often. Usually when you have very little showdown value and decent outs, a spade blocker as well, you start getting aggressive. But it is a bit of a different game. And you play a lot of cards. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You play a lot of cash too, right? 600. I go through phases. Against the small bet, he will see if he can win a showdown or spike top pair. Both players miss. MJ's got that seven, which blocks some straights. And he's got $650, making it look like he wants to get called, like he's got a thin value hand. And call. You win. Soto, not buying it. Nice call, Christian. I thought you didn't want my That's money. That's this. That, that is not I thought I you didn't paying. want my money. I was like, oh, I thought you were like, oh, Chin's a nice guy. Just, just, just check both. Save your money, buddy. <laughs> I got a 10 deuce. <laughs> yeah, it was actually it was actually pretty sharp, though, because he had 10 hey, deuce. Exactly. I'm just glad we got it on stream. <laughs> I'm glad we got to see his little pullback. I'm glad. I thought you were just being nice. Then I realized you had 10 deuce. I should have just led anyway. <laughs> you, were, you were forward motioning to lead. Tell me you weren't. I was going to bet. Yeah. I thought you were being nice. A set for Danny. I thought you were being nice. Get the <laughs> out of here. You said you were a nice guy. You're like, I Let's am nice. see if Danny oh, wants to raise it up right I'm now. Nice. I'm glad this whole thing's on stream. Set the trap. What's on stream? I'm glad. We can look back at set it. Set the trap he does. I like it. Some players get scared of the flush draw, want to just, just end the hand. I who you are for 250 bucks. That's you can great. get more value. I paid it. It's a great yeah, turn card for Danny so, as Jaffe exactly hits his best do. card. 600. Jaffe betting moderate size. Danny has to be thinking, if I call here, I'm going to get another river bet out of him. Let's, let's see. Could be thinking about whether to keep the blue cheeseburger on the menu also. I would keep it. Leads out. Very unorthodox play. and. Yeah, Jared knows that too. <laughs> Jared knows that. He's, he's not happy about it. So Jared thinking maybe he improved on the river. No. That is not no. the case. He already had the big hand. Jack nine good. But I don't have that. He's not. I can't keep answering. Just if you want to pay fifteen hundred, you'll see it. I, I, I have to show it if I want to get rid of this. So uh, you, you're going to see it. No, you don't. <laughs> How do you yeah. always have a set of you? A confusing lead <laughs> makes him 1,500 on the river. The best call I've ever seen. You're playing great. <laughs> That's twice now Jared Jaffe has made top pair against Danny Diner's set. We'll see if Danny can continue his run when we return to Poker Night in America and Studio 52. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, and Studio 52. I'm Lon McCarron alongside Bill Calfon, and it appears we've found ourselves another player. Back at Studio 52, Mitchell leaves, and almost everyone is up. Todd Anderson will be taking the middle seat. Chin's thought was about five seconds ago. I can tell you exactly what Please. it was. So he saw Todd put out the straddle, and he debated really quickly if he, he should put out the two shot. or not. Yeah. I saw it. In I the, thought about it, but then I was like, I don't want whatever. Yeah, right? of course, of course. I didn't, I didn't want to like, you know. Chin with eight. See that guy? Yeah, I didn't want to be that guy. That like Ooh. forces. Adam with the aces. Oh, MJ could get in trouble. Jaffe could get in more trouble. And look at Adam Hendricks' slow play. 
facing the under the gun raise, just calling, invites this action. Adam Hendricks continues the slow play. I really like this. You have much different hands. Jaffe starting this hand with 11k. Put in 2k of it so far. Ace is up for Adam. Nothing for Jared. When you call an under the gun raise and call a big three bet, you look a lot like you have suited Broadway, maybe a suited ace, or maybe a middling pocket pair. You don't look like you have aces. Jared being hit with some unorthodox play of his opponents. Sixty six hundred in the pot. He thinks he's good here. He thinks he's up against one of those ace queen suited, ace jack suited, maybe king queen of spades. Wants to keep getting a little bit of value. And if you're Hendricks here with aces, you don't have to be too worried about your opponent drawing out. Yes, there are two flush draws and there are these straight draws, but he's not going to have these straight draws in his three betting range very often. Can't value bet anymore here if you're Jaffe, but does he want to bluff? Nope. Checks it. Hendricks going to be very confident in his hand is best. But what does he want to get called by? It's an interesting spot where if Jaffe were value betting the turn with a hand like Queens, wouldn't he just shove the river? Jaffe trying to think of the draws that Hendricks can have. King, queen of spades, king, ten of spades, queen, ten of spades. Would he bluff with ace, ten of spades? Would he bluff with ace, queen of spades here? Uh, Jared gives it up. Hendricks can't get paid off on the end. Still takes down a nice pot. He's waiting for the ten two. Ten deuce always in the mind of the other players. Todd's are doing a $50. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from New Jersey originally, and now I live here. A lot of New Yorkers in town yeah. this week. He's in from New York. He's from New York originally too. That guy last night was fun, Chris. With a hundred dollar straddle out there, Soto makes a bit of a loose raise, a six off suit, and Hendricks going to attack it with his beautiful Jack Ten suited. MJ can pick up a hand. Every once in a while, he, he actually gets a hand. Unlike the last hand, this is a spot where I do not like slow playing. Facing three bets cold. It doesn't look weak, and I like to continue almost all of my hands by raising there, if I'm going to play the hand. Jack-10 suited, usually a hand that likes to call four bets, but he's facing a very big four bet. This is a, a decent chunk of his stack. Call. Jack-10 can flop good. Let's see if he does. 7K in the middle. Until it doesn't. That just might end things. If you're MJ, you want to continue betting with every hand that you can have. Adam Hendricks, just jack high, lays it down. Not 10 deuce, it's the other hand. <laughs> okay, one last break for us, but we will be right back with more poker from Studio 52 here in Las Vegas. Welcome back to Studio 52 on Poker Night in America, where we are seeing some big hands late in the night. 
back at Studio 52. MJ with a small profit. Finally, what a fight it's been. Christian up about 10, Ken. <laughs> suited King, MJ loves the suited cards. Todd with Queens. And just call. Tens for Adam here. Adam's got to think his hand is best. He's got a loose opener. He's got Todd just calling on the button. You usually expect him to three bet jacks, queens and kings. Definitely weighing his options here. Should I call? Should I four bet? Just calls. Queens against tens. Todd's best as aces hit the board. One ace, an action killer. Two aces, not as much. 550. Adam tries. And Todd wants to raise right now with Queens, thinking his hand is best. Hoping to get called by a hand like 10 10. But with Queens, you don't want to go for stacks here. So after raising and getting called, find yourself in an interesting spot. Todd checks back. And if you're Hendrix, you think your hand's probably good. You think Todd was bluffing flop, but it's not really worth betting against a flop flop. So. <laughs> I don't think Adam expected that. Let's have a look at the final chip counts for the end of the evening. Five players in the black, including, of course, MJ Gonzalez. He'll keep his winning streak alive with a $100 score. Christian Soto was our big winner, clearing over 9,000, followed by Adam Hendricks, booking yet another profitable session. Danny Diner is now two for two, booking a small win. Poker Night President Todd Anderson does as well. Just two players in the red this evening, Jared Jaffe and Mitchell Bank. Jared ran into some very big hands, including aces versus ace-king, but managed to lose less than most players would have in those spots. Mitchell Bank lost two min buy-ins after running a semi-bluff that didn't produce against MJ Gonzalez's queens. Personally, I would buy in deeper. A lot of times short buying can increase your variance because you become pot committed more frequently. All right, well, solid advice from the man who knows. If you want more Poker Night, be sure to follow us on social media for highlights and exclusive hands of the day. Plus, you can find all our episodes and our 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube, Twitch, Plex, and many other services. Check PokerNight.com for details on where to watch. Also, don't forget to download our free poker app with regular sweepstakes contests, all new game modes like blackjack and slots, and it's all totally free. Search for us in your app store and download it today. For my co-host and friend Phil Galfond, and for everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Lon McCarran. Thanks for watching.